I was breathing heavy for a little, but... We just got done hiking up to the top of Independence Mountain here in Denver, Colorado. It is beautiful out this morning. We got probably six to eight inches of fresh snow last night. So the trail is completely covered. We were following some tracks for the first part of the loop, but then we got uh, up to the upper part and nobody had been up here yet. So we were breaking trail to the top. Got a little off trail a couple times, but it was pretty easy to follow with the all trails map pulled up and just with the way you know the landscape is moving and the, the breaks and the trees and stuff like that it was pretty easy to find our way up to the top there um, it was a little scramble once you get right up near the top but it wasn't bad um, if there's not snow it, it seems like it would be you know really easy to just get up on top of those rocks and stuff but with the snow it was a little tough Trying to make sure you weren't falling in any little holes or anything but i would heavily recommend coming to do this hike especially um on like a friday morning or a weekday we're the only people out here right now um, i know it is early and it's sunrise but it's just beautiful on this trail like look at these views it's just incredible with all this snow even without all the snow i bet this trail would be beautiful but this fresh layer of powder just like steps it up a notch for sure So we just came down from the main upper trail right there, and now we're coming down the other side of the loop here. We came up the loop on that side, and now we're gonna come down the other side of the loop. So this trail is almost like a like a reverse lollipop, I would say. Like there's two trails from the bottom that connect, and then the upper trail leads up to the peak. So we came up the north side of the loop, went up to the peak, and now we're coming down the south side of the loop. And that was already packed down. Like somebody had come up here, I guess either last night or this morning, and hiked this loop part. But we were just breaking trail up to the top. Yeah, this is so pretty. So if you do plan on doing this hike for sunrise, like we did, I would go up the north loop, which is a little longer, and then come down the south loop. Because there are great views over to the east as you're coming up. And then on this side, you're kind of just in the trees until you get back down to the parking lot. So just something to keep in mind. If you are hiking this for sunrise, I would go up the north loop and then come down the south loop. But I mean, it's still beautiful. Oh yeah. We're just about back down to the parking lot now. Okay, so we just got back down to the trailhead. All Trails has this hike as being 2.1 miles with 750 feet of elevation gain. But my mom and sister have their Apple watches on and their watches tracked us at about 2.75 miles and 800 feet of elevation gain. So pretty close, but we also went off trail a couple times. But all around, great hike. I would definitely recommend it if you're in the Denver area. It's really close to Denver and it's a pretty easy hike and the views are incredible, especially if there's fresh snow on the ground. Hope you guys liked this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like or a comment and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks.